So the demoing process usually consists of me putting together some guitar, bass, and drums at my house, and then I'll show it to the guys, and we'll put vocals on it and uh, begin experimenting with different song structures, and Adam will typically do some preliminary mixing, and um, we just really home in on little details, and mostly, I think, something, something that, that made these songs very dense and very special to us is that we, after we finish the demos, we let them sit for a little while, and then we come back to them later. Even if they feel like they're done, we'll come back to them later, and certain things will pop out and then we'll start refining different parts that originally didn't stick out to us. In the demoing process, the drums only sound a certain way, but once we got into the studio, the drums just sounded enormous. So it actually influenced some change in, in the writing. Like I had to strip some fills and pull some things back because it was just too intense. Um, and Lewis was like, he was pulling things out of me that I'd never had anyone pull out before. Lewis is a guitar player so he, and a gearhead, so we did a lot of fiddling with different pedals and amps. And, you know, he, he listens to a lot of the same bands as we do, so there was very little to say. He usually knew what we were talking about. Our expectations going into the studio were very high. Um, we've, we had some plans that kind of fell through before we uh, finally decided to go to the UK and work with Lewis. So we had a pretty hefty waiting period before we flew to the UK to record. So by the time we got there, we were excited. We had, everyone was in good spirits. Just because of all the prep work that we had already done and all the practice that we had each individually gone through, we were pretty prepared. Um, I don't know that we were specifically scared of anything, but um, I think in the end it turned out that the most challenging that we thought was gonna be and what actually was the most challenging ended up being almost the same thing. Like, even though tracking and everything kind of started to feel natural and was going very well, it was still difficult. Um, especially Lewis would pick up little things that we wouldn't even hear and we thought was a great take and he's like, ah, ah. So yeah, um, I, it was almost both. Um, but all in all, it was great. I mean, all the prep work really helped and it, that's kind of what helped us get everything done smoothly. Probably one of the most uh, grueling things of um, the recording process was that we literally worked three weeks straight and, um, you know, we could take breaks. Lewis wasn't able to, so I really felt for Lewis. He had to work, you know, three weeks straight. Um, but with that being said, it went really smooth, um, in all honesty. I, one, one specific uh, memory that I have is after we were done recording everything, the, the last day we were able to, to hear the album as a whole, and just hearing everything come together. It wasn't even mixed, but hearing everything come together, hearing the huge uh, drum sound that we'd achieved and you know just all the little um the little ear candy that we'd put into the songs that wasn't there before it was emotional for most of us and it was very exciting and this was the last day that we were in southampton so we left even happier than than when we'd come in so it was it was amazing really yeah. 